Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. A few years ago, I did a video demonstrating how to put a spotlight behind a person or a product in Lightroom. Now, since that video posted, Adobe has changed the masking in Lightroom, so that video isn't pertinent any longer. Yesterday, I received an email from someone asking me if I could do a new updated video demonstrating how to put a spotlight behind a product or a person, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, I had mentioned in previous videos that I welcome your suggestions, your video suggestions. If you have an idea of a video you'd like me to do, feel free to email me at Tony at AnthonyMorganti.com. I can't guarantee that I will do the video, but I'll definitely consider it. Now, putting a spotlight behind a person is a lot easier now in Lightroom with the new masking tools. I have this image of the model and we're going to open up the masking tools. And the first thing we need to do is get a selection of something, in this case, the, the subject, the person. So we're going to select the subject. We have a nice selection, but we don't want our spotlight on her. We want it on the background behind her. So we need to invert the selection. And when I do that, we'll have a nice selection of the background. Now, spotlights are usually round or oval. So what we need to do now is add a radial gradient to this. And we want the radial gradient to intersect with the background because that's where we want it. We don't want it on her face. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to mask one and we're going to click these three little dots and go down to intersect mask with radial gradient. And when you do that, you'll have a little plus sign. Now I could draw this radial gradient on the image. I'm going to go right on her nose and I'm going to draw out and I want the radial gradient to be perfectly round. And to do that, just hold in the shift key when you draw and you'll get a perfectly round radial gradient. So I did that and you could see that there is a light red mask and it's mainly on the background. It's really not hitting anywhere else. So now I could come over here and go to exposure and just push that up. And you could see that we have a spotlight behind the model. Now let's do a product, do something a little different. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to select the subject. We have a perfect selection of the subject. We're going to invert it because we want the spotlight to be on the background, not on the little bottle. So we'll click invert. So we have that again. We're going to go up to mask one, click on the three dots, go down to intersect mask with radial gradient. Now this time, I don't necessarily want it to be perfectly round. As a matter of fact, I probably want it to be more oval. So we'll move it around a little bit like that. Okay. And then we'll come over here again and we'll kick up exposure. And if you want to come in, you could readjust things, grab your handles here and pull them out. You could spin this around, do whatever you need to do to make it the way you want it to make it look. Now, if you want to try to affect the color of the spotlight we just added, you could go to the hue slider here and move this around and you could change color. Now, the color won't always work. If you have a more neutral uh, background, changing the hue slider probably won't do much, but you could try on something like this that has a more colorful background. You also could try this color swatch here. You could click on this and click on a color to try to influence the background spotlight color. Also, one little trick with using this color swatch, you could see as I'm over the colors here in this little tool, I have an eyedropper. But if I come off the image, the eyedropper disappears. But what if I want to select a color that's in the image? What you could do is click inside of this little box, but then keep your left mouse, mouse button uh, pressed in and come outside the image. And you could see the colors in the select a color box over there are shifting around. So I could select a different color like there or something. So anyway, that's a little trick on how to use this select a color tool that is in um, Lightroom. Now, if you want to reset this, you don't want to use this color at all. Just double click on the word color and you'll reset it just like that. So that's how you put a spotlight behind an object or behind a person in Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it.
talk to you guys soon. Bye.